Hi, I'm Dr. Wesley Shanklin of Westerville, Ohio, and I want to show you something that's kind of interesting, a cause of oral facial pain that often is misdiagnosed or not diagnosed at all. Uh, sometimes you have a trauma inside your mouth as you're brushing your teeth quickly, you could slip and hit the back of your throat, or you may have an ill-fitting denture that hits the back of your throat or other causes, but it's called hammer process bursitis. If you take a look at the skull right here, there's a little hook called the pterygoid hamulus that comes off this little bone called the medial pterygoid plate of the sphenoid bone, sphenoid bone. And around that little hook, there's a muscle that originates here. It comes up this way, winds around that hook, and attaches to the muscle of the same muscle on the other side. And the function of this muscle is when you swallow, it closes off the soft palate so when you drink or swallow food, it doesn't come back up through your nose, but instead it comes this way, instead of going up through your nose. At times, if this bursa, a little area around this hamulus process through which a tendon runs, a bursa actually produces synovial fluid so this tendon can run in and out of here very smoothly without friction. If that tendon is struck, just like a tendon in your elbow or tendon in your shoulder, you develop bursitis. It's very painful. It can radiate pain from the throat and when one swallows, they have pain when they swallow. It can radiate pain into the same side ear, a pain into the roof of the mouth, and even pain up into the temple on the same side. So that's called pterygoid hamulus bursitis. And I'm gonna show you a case of a real patient here that just came into our office and how we treat that disorder. Today I have a good friend uh, with me in our office and Doug has been a patient for years and we've treated him for a lot of different problems. And today he presents with an interesting disorder that we'll talk about and Doug, can you just tell me that what happened, the kind of symptoms you're experiencing? Well, about a week ago, um, I had, I, I can't remember if it was a taco chip or a, a fiber oat bar, but the upper denture released and, and it was so awkward, I just chomped down and to, get, to readjust the uh, upper denture and, and get the food in the right place. And uh, I didn't notice much, a little twinge, but then the next day it was sore up there in the juncture, uh, upper jaw, and and when I touched it, it was real raw kind of feeling. And and uh, as the days have gone on, it's it's swollen. There's more ear pain, uh, hot hot feeling, a light fever, and um, um, you said it bothered you when you swallow. Very very much a, a swallowing problem. It started. I was worried what it might be, and then that it would get worse because it kept getting worse. And I was putting things on it like oregano oil and um, salt and various things to see if I could uh, get it uh, leave to kind of help the pain a little bit, but it didn't go away. It kept getting worse and worse. And so, and I have also a little challenge recently with Meniere's disease, so I thought I'd better call and I called today and you were kind enough to work me in. Well, you also said, Doug, that I had some referred pain in your left ear too. Oh yeah. Uh, absolutely. So you had left ear pain, pain when you swallowed, and was there a dull aching there all the time? I don't want to put words in your no, mouth. No, that's what it was. Yeah, okay. dull ache all the time. Okay. Now, when you came in here, we examined you, and uh, I palpated something in your soft palate up on the left-hand side. It was tender, wasn't it? Very. And I gave you a little injection with local anesthetic, and did that relieve your symptoms? It was quite a bit better. Yeah, still a little fullness, mm -hmm. although now it's, I, I don't notice the problem at all. And that was about seven minutes ago. Right. And so we palpated that area and I gave you a little anesthetic and now seven minutes later your, your pain is you're pretty much pain free? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm shocked. It's so, so much better. Well that's good. Well, I'm going to do a little exam and show something here, okay? Sure. I looked at Dr. Little and I examined him and you can see this little spot where I gave the local anesthetic injection. That I can feel the hamulus process of the medial pterygoid plate of the sphenoid bone. And that was tender. He can't tell us that now, but when uh -huh. I compressed that area, it was tender. And that's what identified yeah. the spot right away. I also noted, if you can see here, I don't know how well you can see here. You see that little lesion? That's a recurrent aphthous ulcer, which he incurred from his denture moving around and digging himself. So he had a problem with the recurrent aphthous ulcer and this hammer process. So I gave it a little injection of just a quarter cc of, of mepivacaine right here, 3%. And he right away began having relief. And so that to me somewhat or pretty much confirmed it was a bursitis of the hamulus process of the bursa that winds around the hamulus process of the medial pterygoid plate. So then I injected a small amount of Celeste or a Kenalog 
and, and local anesthetic in there. And now, seven minutes later, he's totally pain-free, right. which confirms to me the diagnosis of bursitis of the hamner process. Now, I also, may I see your denture for a second? I also took his denture, can you see that? And adjusted the very end right there, because that's where the hamner process would rub. I extended this denture somewhat to give him retention. So that could have been also causing that pain to occur. So now he'll be fine with the denture and I can give him uh, some Kenalog and base for the aphthous ulcer and I can give him a Medrol dose pack for this and I have a good sneaking su uh, suspicion that he's gonna be fine here in no time. So if he's not, I'll see him in two weeks and we'll see what happens then, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Thank you. Thank right, you very thank much. Thank you, Dr. Shanklin. I'm so happy.